Welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Bobby Erickson and I am co-owner of Erickson's Photography. My last couple of videos I've talked about project management, using Asana as a project management tool, and what exactly project management is. Now it's really time to, to deep dive into this. So we're going to continue setting up Asana. And rather than having just one long video of this, I'm going to break it up into three different videos. So this is the very first video of the three-part series. Let's go ahead and get started. We are back in our account now after logging in. So everything we did when we first set up this account, when we walked through those steps, it is still here. So now we're going to kind of walk through everything to do within Asana. So I'm going to record everything as I do it, probably all in one big video. And then I will cut different sections depending on what we're doing on YouTube. So I do apologize if it seems like maybe I get out of order at times um, in videos just gonna kind of see how this goes. So I just thought I'd throw that little caveat out there uh, for everyone who is watching. But for this, I'm gonna just stick with this one project we're in and I'm gonna kind of start at the top of it and kind of work my way through the project itself. And then we'll kind of talk, start talking about more and more. And I, I'm gonna probably say this so many times, everybody's gonna get tired of hearing it. I'm really setting this up for a two person photography team. You know, down the road, we might add in, uh, we've been looking at maybe doing like a marketing coordinator, you know, we could add somebody in, but I'm kind of setting this up knowing that it's a husband and wife team, no matter if you have five photographers on your staff or you have one, it's still going to be the same concept that, you know, I might assign some of them to my wife. You just want to sign a team, but you're just going to use your due dates and it'll stay assigned to yourself. So with that said, let's just keep jumping in here and seeing what everything is. So I'm going to go ahead, first thing, this privacy statement update. Um, if you want to learn more, definitely click on it and learn more. I'm going to go ahead and close that to give me more space on the screen. All right. And so anytime these kind of things come up, I just click got it. They'll go away. So now at the very top here, you can come in here. You can edit your project details. So if you wanted to name it something else, um, you can also see it's on this team, which we're going to be updating eventually. Uh, you know, you could add in due dates for the actual project itself. So, you know, for Kelly's shoot that we have coming up, I'm going to add in a date of, oops, I'm going to do February 4th. And when it comes to dates, if you want to use a start date, you can, I, I'm not big on that. I like to do just end dates. So February 4th. You could type something in there. I never have, but this is where you can edit after you've got set up that first project. If you want to name it something different or if you're playing around with it, uh, you can also change it to these different colors if you'd like. Um, you know, so we can change it to purple. Here's a copy project link. All that is is a link to the actual project. It'll lead and load right to that page. And it's that default look that we gave it when we first started. You can duplicate this project. Um, you can save a layout as a default. And I just want to point out, if you do this, just know that it changes that default for everybody. Um, so if you do happen to change it, just know that it's going to change it for all users. Um, we're going to go into templates. Uh, and once we have a really solid project built out with all of our tasks, we will save that as a template. And I will go into templates and how easy it is to have a template. And then it'll all pre-fill for you, which is amazing. And then we'll also talk about, we use Dubsado for our CRM. You can actually link Dubsado up to Asana, but that's way down the road, getting way ahead of myself. But that is just so you know that that is an option. You can add it to our portfolio. You do have to be on a business plan for the portfolio. I've tried it. I'm not a, not a huge fan. I, I think for the right business, it'll help. So if that's something you're interested in, certainly feel free to look into that. And then you can import, export, archive, and delete this project. So those are all the status updates that are within here. This little star icon, this adds it to your favorites, which is really handy once you really build this out to add certain. So when you're doing favorites, you can know like, okay, my next, you know, 30 to 60 days, those projects I should play out front and center. You can make them your favorites or you can always add in and make them all your favorites and it'll just keep going all the way down. 
So definitely use your favorites. They are to your benefit. And then this sets set status. This is totally, you know, if, if you want to do it, if you have a team of five photographers, this is probably going to be really good, especially if you are like a project manager and you're managing all your other projects within photographers, you can certainly set these to um, whatever you, that you want it to be. And then um, you can do all these updates. There's all kinds of things that's going on that will help you to project manage this. I'm going to kind of stay out of that for right this moment. But definitely, um, if you're going to be project managing quite a few photographers, I suggest doing that. My wife and I, we're a small team of two. We really know each other's workload. So we're, we do not use statuses, but I have used those with previous experiences um, with larger teams. So that's what those buttons are for. And then you have all these other buttons that are in here as well. Um, I'm going to kind of clean up this a little bit just before I start clicking on those buttons. Like, I don't need to have this status. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn that off, turn that off, turn that off. Um, these priorities are really cool. This is one way you can do your priorities. You can add in extras. And so I, whatever is going to work for you, for you to know what, what is priority for you, definitely change those. Uh, I've always just left them low, medium, and high. And so, you know, so booking hair and makeup, as soon as we get somebody in, that's that's a pretty high. Um, you also don't have to use them, um, you know, so you can use them only on some of your tasks. I'm also going to go ahead and update this. I mentioned already that there's a, a beginning date and an end date. If you're used to nat charts, this is for you. This is where those come in handy. I'm not a fan of those charts. Um, I've used them in previous jobs. I just like knowing what my end date is. And then I'm going to prioritize my work to make sure my end date that I get it done by. That's just how I've always worked as a project manager. So I do get rid of start dates. I am much more on, um, and I'll go into, it's showing you this customized, which is really cool. I'll definitely show you that. Um, it's how you can add in different fields into this. So you know, Asana is going to give you all kinds of tools to make sure you look through that. Don't just rely on watching me set it up because you're going to find some tips and tricks that might work for you, but they didn't really work for me. And so I didn't mention them. There's just no way to mention everything that Asana can do for every style of business. So you'll see me clicking off a lot of the tips and tricks just because I'm only going to use it really to what works for, you know, me and my wife as photographers. So I'm going to get rid of this start date. And let's get rid of this start date. So now we have hair and makeup. So super easy. If I'm going to um, change it over to my wife and knowing we need to get that done, we'll set that out for a couple of days to give her time to get that booked. And so that's how easy it is. You literally have a task here. You can change all this information right within here which is super cool super handy and then if you want to see the actual task itself so here's the task here's how it looks you know this is who it's assigned to this is the due date easy to change it anytime and if you do like those start dates you can always add those in um i just messed with that start nope okay so that's for friday Here's the actual projects that's in. Now we only have one project, but this is what's really cool is as you get more and more in here, you can actually add, you know, a task to another project as well. So, you know, if you need to book hair and makeup for a couple, you could really use the same task and put it in both projects. The only caveat to that is if you close it out, it will close it out in both projects. So definitely don't close it until you are ready. Um, and then here you can move it around. You know, is this before the shoot? Is this the shoot day? Is this after? You can add it there. You got your priorities. So all those same statuses are all right in here. And then this is where you can add description. Kelly's shoot. You know, my wife and I, we're not best at putting descriptions in our tasks. We kind of use the subject lines because we 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 know the lingo. We know what we're talking about. We know why we're doing things. Now, you can get into subtask here. I'll kind of go over subtask at a different time. Um, I, th I think that that's going to be better for a different thing. And then 
anytime you edit, you can always bold, italicize, you know, all these items are in here for you. And that really helps out. If you have a large team, we're really basic. We, we'd like to keep it about as basic as we can in here that we want a sauna to work for us, but we don't want to have all these weird things that are set up that we have to remember to do for each task. So we kind of use it for the basics, but that's kind of what it's meant for. This is not meant to take up a lot of time. This is really meant to help your business and keep you on track within your business. All right. So that's kind of walking through all of the, the, the tasks that are here. You can always drag and drop. So, you know, official shoot. You can drag that down here. Oops, I had that one with it. I apologize. Sometimes I get click happy and it doesn't work as I want. To grab it, you got to grab the little dots right here. So now I have it kind of booked out um, of, you know, before the actual day, the after. And now it's just a, it's a matter of doing all the tasks. Um, you know, so for us, setting up. You can click on details. So you can either add in people right here or you can go into details. I always like just going into the detail view. And we're gonna assign this to my wife. She's in charge of that. And so that's all there is to it. I just assigned another task to my wife to set up a payment plan for this. Um, if I wanna do a priority, you know, we can set it to whatever you want. So now you can really just go and keep building out you whatever tasks that you're going to work on, get those in and build them out to what works for you. So I'll take some time um, when I'm not doing a video and I'll keep setting this up and I'll share with you on a later video.